Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can uh, actually make a character with few CC and completely import it to the Unreal Engine. So let's get started. So click on products, few CC, then get fuse from Adobe and then you can click here on download. And yeah, you need an account for this, but uh, the account is free to use, so the program is also free to use, and you don't need to buy anything from Adobe. So once you download it and installed it, you will get this uh, few CC window here. And yeah, this is the viewport, and we will work here with the mail fit A. So this one, uh, you can actually choose whatever you like, and you can mix them all through uh, together. But I will just stick with the normal um, mail fit A. So yeah, this is how you connect them, just clicking on the thing you want. So here you can also change them later if you like. And yeah, that's it for the character. So here you can also change the view of the character and uh, also here the position of the character if you like. So very simple. Uh, after you did this, uh, you can customize your character and you can do this if you like to uh, just scroll here through the uh, options or you just click on uh, some uh, yeah, body parts. Uh, but you need to select this one here. So then you can just grab them and stretch them bigger or smaller or if you, what you like. So I will leave it as uh, default under the clothing. You can also pick whatever you like and combine them. I will go here through the options and we'll take here the skinny jeans and these shoes. And from the hair I will just use the short hair. So uh, don't look at the colors, you can change them all later on. So yeah, I will just use the three parts, uh, four parts, you can also give them more if you like, but I will stuck with this. So on this texture, you can uh, then click on your character and make the texture resolution a bit higher. So we have a better texture. And you can also give him here another skin color or makeup or whatever you like. So next up, uh, click on the hairs and we do this for them too. And we can also set here a color. I will make this a bit darker brown here. Let's see where is the brown. There it is, something like this. Then I click on the jacket and make here higher resolution too. And um, yeah, I will not change here the color because it will take too much time. And also not on the jeans, but I will show you at, at the bottom, at the shoes, how to change uh, the color and the uh, yeah fabric they are made of. So what you do here is just scroll down to the bottom, click on uh, the pattern you want to actually to remove or, or uh, yeah redo. So I will make here the main spandex, uh, which is a solid color. You can do it metal or fabric or leather or whatever. I will do this as leather, and I will change the color to a white color. And yeah. That's it how you do it. So I will also do this here for the secondary color. We'll just make this a bit wider. Like this. Where is the lasers? Let's get this one. The side also white. Why is this one now yellow? Uh, I think it's here. Yeah, this is better. So the sides are white now. Let's get the stripes here on the side and just make them black like this. So yeah, that's how you can change every uh, clothing. So just go through the settings and change them. So after you uh, made complete your character, uh, we can then uh, save this one or actually we can export. So let's first save it as the fuse um, CC uh, data. So go into desktop, make a new folder called fuse, open it up, and let's call this mail. So now we can all the time access this one. So then let's export the 
oh no, not the model, we don't need the model. Let's export the textures as physical based rendered. And let's make a new folder here for texture PBR. So in here we want to save it and click on OK. And after the texture exported, before we send this to Mixamo, we need to um, actually save this as object to um, remove the default save. So I want to show you this now. So click here on export model as object. And here are the exports, which also export to Mixamo. And we want to not remove our cool polygons because it will remove the polygons beneath the clothes. So there is nobody anymore. And we don't want this to happen. So we save this as default. So click here on the default and then click on OK and just type in mail here and we can save this as mail object. Yeah, we want to overwrite this. So let's see, um, you could also show mesh information here. So you can see how much they uh, have in Heath and how much polygons there is and all the other stuff. So you can now save this again. And actually we can now send this to Mixamo, call this mail01 or something like this, save. And it will upload now. So I will come back when uh, it is uploaded. Once your uh, upload is finished, uh, you will see it will prepare for rigging and it should open the Mixamo site automatically. So here it is. It loads the auto rigger and now this can take up to one to two minutes. So let's wait this out. And then you should see the screen here. So um, yeah, there's actually our character. And as you can see now the body beneath on the uh, mesh is actually there. So yeah, this is what I wanted. And now we click here on enable and let's finish this. Let's view it in our assets. And let's actually queue to download. And here on the FBX, you can see Snow for Unreal Engine. So just take the normal FBX, click on T-Pose and queue to download. So this is the last one from my testing. So I'll remove this one and wait here for mine to finish. And now we can download it. So I will put it into the Fuse folder again and pause here until the download is finished. The next step now is uh, to actually open up Blender and to import our character. So here, click double A to delete everything. And then let's click on import, click on FBX, go to your fuse folder and click on the mail FBX. So now here we are. This is our character, which is uh, loaded incorrectly. And before I continue, uh, let me explain you a bit about Blender and about the rigging here. So Mixamo gave uh, our character here the rig. What Blender does now is uh, adds an amateur root bone. So um, if we save this now or export this now as FBX, this mesh would be different from the one from Mixamo. So here on the website where my character is and here my mail is, this one has um, actually no root bone called amateur. So, and this one has one. So um, if you like, you can now export this one and again, upload it to Mixamo. And yeah, this will help you to actually work later with animations. If you do not um, upload them again, like I will not do now, um, you actually need to always first import animations to Blender so that um, the amateur bone is added to the animation and then you can pass it through to the Unreal Engine. So you need now to decide if you work with um, Blender amateur bone added or only this one here. And I will work here um, only with this one. So I will not upload this again to Mixamo because yeah, it will take a bit of time. So let's just Always when we take animations now, we will first need to import them into Blender and export them then for the Unreal Engine. Next up, let's fix the mesh here. So as you can see, um, some of the polygons are looking 
outside, uh, outside of the mesh. So actually, this is not easy to fix, but we want to do this now. So click here to open up your mesh and click on the top. And what we want to do here now is uh, to sculpt this a bit up here. Very simple. And now you can see there it is. Nothing. Oh, here it is a bit. So let's sculpt this also out here a bit. So you can sculpt them out so we can actually see here no body parts anymore. So there on the shoes is it also a bit, but um, let's see actually, oh, let me go out here a bit and click on the bottom here. <clears throat> and let's see, I think there, go to scope mode. And um, let's actually first click on the bones here and press H to hide them. So now we have it a bit easier to see the actual body here. So there is a bit. So you can just play with it and yeah, make this all for the character. So I will just leave it as it is now. Press Alt H to bring the bones back or just click here on this one. So what we can do now is <coughs> export as FBX. So click on this, go into the fuse folder. Let's create a new folder here and call this Blender export. <coughs> Sorry. Go into this and we call this mail here. Very simple. Export FBX. And then we can go into the Epic Games launcher and start our Epic Games Unreal Editor. And in there we want to do a third person template. So go to new project and let's create the third person project here and let's call it Fuse to UE or something like this. Don't need the starter content, let's just create this project. And inside this project let's create a new folder called Fuse. And inside this folder I will now get the mail FBX we exported here. So go into Blender export and click on the mail FBX one. So here we want to import skeletal mesh with the mesh. Don't click here on a skeleton. No animations and everything. Click on import. So here's our character. <coughs> you can bring them in. And we can actually see that uh, the texture are not going correctly with it, but uh, we exported the texture separately. So go to Fuse, go to Texture PBR, click on Mail. And if you have not this one, just, or you forget this, just go here to Export Textures and just export them as PBR. So let's grab them here. So them all and open them up. Ignore here the warnings and let's see. So first of all let's open up our body material. And let's delete here the black one and let's get the body base color and just put it in. Then we will get the ambient occlusion, the roughness. I'll just type in body so we can see all the one that are needed. So deep four, bring them in here, click on the first one which is ambient occlusion, so get the ambient, this one is the roughness, get the roughness, the normal map, connect this, and here metallic, connect this one. So you can apply and save this and see if the body is working uh, correctly. So here, um, yeah, looks okay. We could just make the um, the rough, uh, the specular. Let's make your scala parameter to zero. 
Yeah, this is better, I think. So let's go to the next steps here. So let's make, um, oh, I see, I see, I see. We have a problems with the um, eyelashes because they're actually not exported correctly here. So let's rework this one too. So I open up the male one, let's see. I think it's connected to the bottom material at the moment. Yeah. So we don't want this to uh, be the case. So we go to Blender, click on body here, click one and five. Well, let's see if this one, no, there is the default one. And it is not exported correctly because it has no um, texture assigned. So let's do this actually. So let's go here to uh, materials and let's delete the body material because it's a reference to the body normal. So we create a no new one. Uh, you can call this eye lash or something like this. I think with E, I don't know. Just type something in here click on the material and click on new one. And then let's open uh, the fuse folder, the texture PBE. And here we take the male body base color. And we'll take here the alpha channel of this thing because it's automatically assigned to this. So we don't need to do anything else here. The only thing we have to do is export this one again as this male FBX one here. And then we have to import this one again from the Blender export into this folder and we need to overwrite everything. Um, click here on import all. And here now it added uh, the eyelash material, which is good. And inside this one, we can actually go to the body material and copy this all over here. But actually we don't need it, but we will do this just for now. Um, but under eyelash, we uh, want this one to be um, translucent, I think. Let's see, or was it masked? No, we want it to be translucent. And then we add the opacity to the height here. Like this, we can do this also two-sided. And then we apply this. So go now to your mail and let's see what it does here. So where is it? And there it is, perfect eyelashes. So yeah, that's how you fix this one. Let's go fast to the hair. And type in hair here. So get them all. Copy them over, paste them here. Oh, this doesn't work. So drag and drop them into this place here. And we have the ambient. We have the roughness. We have the normal. We have the base. And we have the metallic. Let's apply this. And I see <laughs> I misconnected them here and apply them again. Go into your mail and now you can see your hairs are, yeah, they are actually there. Yeah, for the rest, I will skip this now and um, you can do this. It's the same basic way. So let me just finish this. And this is how he should look after you um, added everything. So yeah, that's basically all. And yeah, in the next video, I will show you how you can animate them. Very, him very simple. And then we want to um, actually make a sit animation because someone asked for it. And yeah, I find a way for it very fast. So we will do this in the next videos. So thanks for watching. And yeah, have a nice day. Bye.